Okay, here's something just really quick. I've been playing around with this uh, this little two transistor um, CFL driver and dinking around with it, and I, I'm just running it off a couple of these little tiny two in two 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 transistors, and I got rid of that coil even. And um, anyway, it's a real interesting little circuit. You wouldn't think it would work, but it it goes into a resonance with the ignition coil and a couple of these little uh, transistors. And that's all there is to it, right there. Just a couple of little 2N222 transistors. I've got it running off of about a 10 volt uh, rechargeable AA battery pack going through a voltage regulator. And I've got this dialed down to about uh, 20 milliamps at about um, 4.5 volts. And uh, the CFL's running. It's pretty dim. But look at this waveform. Isn't that bizarre? And uh, I don't know. As you dial up the voltage, of course, that changes dramatically. But that's the waveform coming off these uh, these really two circuits. This is a step-down adjustable um, voltage regulator. It's a, a switching voltage regulator that has a bunch of capacitors and circuitry in it. But I found it real effective for being able to hold um, um, the voltage you want with uh, not losing too much energy through the uh, amp draw through that circuit. And then the circuit that runs the CFL is just these two little 2 and 2 2 twos. But the real action takes place inside the coil. And uh, I've got this wrapped up with a towel because it makes a little wine. But down in there in the bottom, I wrapped some wire around the coil to tickle the base of one of these uh, little transistors, the first one. And that gives it the signal. Once you get it going, the signal comes off of the coil, right through the coil casing into that wire, and then comes into the circuit, and it goes into self-oscillation. But anyway, that's a cute little light there. And uh, that's a real strange waveform. Thought you might enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Bye.